Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming to this system sessions. I wanted to show you real quickly how we link a domain from GoDaddy to your Lead Street website. So big thank you to Claire for letting me use her as an example. She um, is a fairly new agent and needed her domain added anyway. So I let um, reached out to her and she was nice enough to let me use her as an example. So just some quick steps on how to do this. Just know domains are a little bit confusing. And um, if you have any questions or get stuck, just let me know know and I will come and try to help you guys. So here is just how to do this really quickly. So first you're going to log in to your lead street. And when you go to your lead street, you're going to come over here to your site builder and go to um, your domain. It's going to pull up your domain page. And then what we're going to do is you can see that um, her domain originally was this long mid-states one. We're going to just um, highlight that and copy it. And then we're going to go to her GoDaddy account. And you are going to log in and um, go to My Products, and that would be taken to this screen. You're going to come down here to um, where that domain is that you've purchased and click this little ellipsis and go to manage DNS. Once that comes up, you're going to come down here to forwarding and you're gonna hit add and you're going to copy that um, email or that website from uh, Lead Street into here and you're going to leave these settings the same and hit save. Now you can see that that's added. Um, and then the next step is you're going to come back into your Lead Street domain page and you are going to, um, right here where it says add domain, add your domain that you have bought, which for Claire's example is clairesmotherman.com. So just type in the domain that you bought and hit submit and it will pop it up here as you can see on Claire's example. Then the next and final step is um, scroll down on this domain page and you're going to look at these name servers. We're going to add those. So you're going to go back to your domain page, domain management, and where, right here where it says name servers, you're going to hit change. And then you're going to say enter my own, own name servers advanced. And then all you're going to do is, is again, just uh, highlight these and copy and paste in here. Both of them name one and name two, and name name server one, name server two. Once you do that, you're gonna hit save. And then it's just gonna give you a um, consent box. You're gonna hit yes and continue. And then finally, this last step is, it's going to send you just as an added security, an email with a password. Just hit send password and enter that password here and hit verify and you will be good to go there. So that is um, quickly just how to uh, forward your domain that you've purchased to your Lead Street website. Another cool thing that Claire pointed out to me that I wanted to show you guys, um, just a little fun fact that we found out is if you go to your website, hopefully it'll load. It's been, been kind of slow this morning, so give me a second. Anyway, why that loads, I just want to show you guys what Claire showed me. If you go to Site Builder, Collections, and then Site Editor, um, you will see at the bottom of the website um, that now Lead Street has added under Website Settings a Google Translate option. So you can turn this on or off. If you turn it on at the bottom of the website right here, it will give you a little Google box that allows your clients to select the language that they would like to view your website in. So pretty cool feature. Um, Claire, of, of course, is bilingual. So she wanted to obviously hit the um, a Hispanic market. And so giving your clients the option to um, get that Google Translate feature on your website is, is a huge plus as well. So I would highly recommend turning that on if you guys haven't. I'll show you now that this is loaded just kind of what that looks like. Right here it says select language and it gives you any language that you want and you can turn that on for your clients um, so they can select it. So just a little couple quick tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you guys get stuck with transferring domains, let me know and I will come and help. So have a great day and thanks for tuning in.